Hey guys, so today I'm going to do my sample Sunday or hashtag 365 days of samples. I was able to finish off three samples this week. Two of them were things I was working on this past week and one of them was an extra added bonus that I picked out and I used up and loved. Let's just start with that one. This is the YSL Mon Paris Eau de Parfum. This is from YSL and I absolutely fell in love with this fragrance. I got this in my Sephora play box, used it up, loved every drop of this thing. This is definitely on my loves wish list for Christmas for next time I get a sale. Definitely love this YSL Mon Paris. So good. Hopefully I can put the description right here for you guys. But if you haven't smelt this or you got this in your Sephora play, take it out spray it on yourself and if you love it you love my kind of scents and if you don't then we know that whatever I like you're not gonna like and whatever you like I'm not gonna like which could help us in the end you know but anyway this was amazing sample the next thing I used up this was from Amika it's the perk up dry shampoo and it looks like this I definitely love the scent of this it's the sea buckthorn berry and I think it did a great job on my hair. It does every now and then leave a white cast, but you just kind of have to zhuzh it in kind of thing. But I really enjoyed this. This is on my wish list as well to purchase, and I think I have it on my Christmas wish list as well. But really enjoyed this deluxe sample, the Mika Perk Up Dry Shampoo. The next thing I'm really happy to be done with, this is the Kardashian Beauty Black Seed Dry Oil. Looks like this. It is an oil for your hair. I love putting oil in my hair. However, this one had a cologne scent that kind of stayed in my hair. And I just, like I used the last little bit of it today and I still smell it. So I'm happy to be done with it. I love hair oils, but this Kardashian Beauty Black Seed Dry Oil is not my favorite. I don't like the musky type scents and I don't really like the Kardashians. So I'm glad it's out of my life. Okay, moving on, still working on the Murad Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture. As you guys know, I'm using this as a hand cream because it's too thick for me for a face and neck cream, but I am definitely getting down there. I don't know how well you guys can see, but definitely getting down there and hopefully I can use this up this week. The next thing, still working on and it's almost done, this is the Energy Devi by Lancome. It's kind of like an oil for a dry oil for your face. I use it kind of in the mornings on the days I don't use my other product but this week I started right up here. You didn't get a lot of product to start off with and then I'm down to here. Again I do enjoy this product and I actually think I enjoy it more than my Ole Henriksen Truth Serum. So I'm still working on my Lancome Energy De V for next week. Um, this again is the Ole Henriksen Truth Serum Collagen Booster. So this is another oil type item for your face. However, this is a little bit more stickier and liquidier than this. This is definitely, like I said, more of a dry oil and this is like a sticky oil. But I love the scent of this. This has like an orange scent to it. I've been working on this in my St. Paul Sundays for a little bit. So you saw last time I was up here down to here. So I didn't do too much of a difference this week and that's because I was using the Lancome one more than this. So definitely still working on this and I do still really enjoy it but that Energy to V one it just isn't as sticky on my face so I enjoy that better. The next thing is the Origins by All Greens. This is the Foaming Deep Cleansing Mask and I love this thing. You let it sit on your face for a little bit, it foams up and then you rub it in and rub it off and then you just rinse it off and it makes my face feel so good. I love it and I see great benefits after this. So I don't know if you guys can see, it's like a light green tint to it, but I enjoy it, it smells good and I'm happy to keep using this and this will definitely be added on my list of things to buy. For the Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealers, I was working on 2.5. I said I wanted to use 2.5 and 2.0 up. Let me show you where 2.5 is. 
So that is my progress on 2.5 and I haven't opened the 2.0. So I asked someone else how they use this concealer and I was using it wrong. I normally do one concealer. I do it for my under eyes and I use it on my blemishes, things like that. Just like a light concealer. My IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer, I can do that and just use it on like the blemishes and stuff all over my face as well as my under eye. So I was kind of using it in that same way and you can't do that with this product. This is a much thicker concealer so what I do is I use the little brush that it comes with, I dip it in and then I apply it to the areas on my face, not my under eyes. It's too thick for my under eyes. Still use my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye for that or my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind for that but this I'll use the brush, put it in the spots that I want and then I'll take my beauty blender to help kind of buff it into the skin and that works beautifully. I have actually really enjoyed using the 2.5 shade since I've kind of switched my application of it but Still going to use the 2.5 up and then I'll switch to the 2.0 and see kind of the difference for that. This next item is the Dior Lash Primer and this is a base mascara. It's a white mascara primer. I don't know if you guys can see the little black dots because that's from leftover mascara. So this will be the last week that I use this. We'll see if I use it up or what happens with it. I just don't like knowing that I have like germs and stuff in here and I can see it more than a black mascara tube so I'll use this this week. Do I think I'm going to go run out and get the full size of this? Probably not if you have a good mascara. I don't think you really need this and I didn't find that I did much volumizing different than the mascaras that I've been using with it. I used the Tarte Tartise Mascara and the NARS Audacious Mascara. And it basically kind of looks the same with or without this, maybe a little bit thicker, but not a big difference that I would go by Dior Lash Primer. Then I had two items that I was still, not still, I didn't even try. This is the Sephora Booster or Hydraulic Acid Booster Instant Moisture and Cream. It was a foil sample and I didn't use it. Don't know what's wrong with me, but have a lot of moisturizers and then the daily beauty satin finish treatment I didn't try because I was so hardcore doing the Kardashian beauty but I am going to be using this after today because I finished the Kardashian beauty one up I'm really happy so and this one too will be able to see a little bit more progress than that Card Kardashian beauty one so right now I have one two three four five six seven I have eight items, but this Energy De V one I know I can finish up. So I'm just going to draw three items out of my big bin. So let's just jump in. I have one, two, three. Okay. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so excited. I got a YSL Mon Paris fragrance. Really happy I just got this and I have another sample of it so woohoo! I'm happy about that. This next thing is from Ole Henriksen. It's the step 1, 2, and 3 Power Bright which looks like that. Looks like step 1 is a Truth Sugar Glow Polishing Mask. Then you get a Truth Vitamin C Concentrate and a Pure Truth Melting Cleanser. So that will be really nice and then I can use my truth serum after it. It's a lot of truth coming out. And the last item is from Beauty Without Cruelty. This is the premium botanical lotion that is fragrance free. So those are all the items that I used up and things I will be working on this week. I'm already going to bust into this YSL Mon Paris. Let's see if it has the notes over here. It says, an intoxicating white cipri or hype, whatever, to make you lose your senses. The sensuality of white petaled musk entitled by a vertinguinous, wow, I can't read, um, dacher accord and balanced by the intensity of an exceptional patchouli, the trail of intense love. Peony accord, white musk, datura accord, and patchouli incense, and I love it. This is what the bottle looks like, and oh my gosh, I love it. 
So I'm going to spray it on myself. And I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> Have a good one. Bye.